Cross country runners will hit the course in Northfield for the state meet Saturday. Jay Wilcox caught up with the Wyzetta girls team as they prepare for the meet. With everyone returning from a state runner-up team, the hopes were high for the Wyzetta girls cross country team this season. But a string of injuries and illness have altered the lineup a lot. Still, the Trojans ran their way to state as Section 6AA runner-up. It's been a little bit of a tough year. We've had some injuries, especially with the seniors, which has been kind of difficult, but it's really cool to just come together and still be able to make it to state and support the team. And yeah, we still have some big goals left. So even though there's been some challenges, we're just happy to be here. It's definitely been a crazy season. Um, our number one runner, Emma, from last year has been out sick and with other problems, as well as like most of our top seven from last year. The state meet has a different feel than the rest, but runners still have to treat it the same same way as best they can. It goes out a lot harder and it's definitely a lot more exciting than just your average meet, but we always just try to keep our heads on and go out there like it's every other race we've ever run. So, Despite all the ups and downs, the Trojans think they can compete well Saturday. Yeah, the goal is to win, so there's a lot of good competitors this year. We got Adina, STMA, Stillwater, and obviously a lot of individuals that um, Abby will be looking out for too, but as a team, I think we have a pretty good shot if everyone runs like I know we can. Jay Wilcox, CCX Sports. In addition to the Wysetta girls, the Maple Grove boys are in the Class AA meet, the Heritage Christian Academy boys, and Providence Academy girls are in the Class A meet. First race is at 10 a.m.